Hey everyone! We've been using an AI image generator to create brand new Pokemon. We've even put all eight of the grass starter types, and we've let the program run, so let's see what it's generated this time. It's hard to put into words how exciting this is for me, it's kind of like being a kid and getting a brand new pack of Pokemon cards. There's definitely some pretty neat looking ones this time. And a twig! Let's take a closer look! This is definitely like a baseball cap and hair. I don't... I don't know where that came from. It's got an area that could definitely be a face, this could be an ear or eye, and then it's got little feet and like a dress on. It's pretty cute, I like this one. This guy you can kind of see a little bit of a face, maybe here. These are kind of legs, is this like a wing? That could kind of be like a ear or something. It doesn't really look like any of the other starters though, that's, that's interesting. It's got like a straight stem coming straight off the top of its head. You could see something cool coming out of this guy though. This guy is really odd looking, he almost looks like a shroomish with that little downturned mouth here. And then he's got like one big eye that is really droopy, like he's exhausted. But then he has like a cool ear here, and then whatever's going on on top of his head here, like the almost like the bandana tie of leaves and twigs, is really neat looking in particular. And then he has these insanely red feet, which I, I have no idea where that could come from off of these starters. It kind of just like makes up colors sometimes. I love it. I love how crazy this guy looks. This guy is adorable! Look at his little face! He looks like he's in like a dinosaur onesie or something. I, I absolutely love this. That could make an amazing Pokemon. You could see the evolutions of it like from a little tiny kid that's wearing a dinosaur onesie to like an adult wearing a dinosaur onesie. Just the dinosaur onesie gets cooler and cooler as he evolves. That could be amazing. I love this guy. This one kind of has like a Rorschach test thing going on with it. I think this could be an owl face? Or a fish? Like an owl face with like a mustache? Maybe it's an, like a smoke owl. That could be cool. Big cloud of smoke, owl face, and like big wings that come out of the smoke. That could be really neat. I would like that. That sounds like a cool Pokemon actually. This is a twig. Initially I was gonna be like, this is a twig, and then just cut it off, and like, that would be the joke. It would just show it on screen for a second. But, this is actually really interesting to me. How did it arrive? How did the AI arrive at making a plant stock? I understand that all of these things have, like, plant themes, but that would suggest that the AI knows what a plant is already. <laughs> like, instead of just taking the pictures that we've put in, and creating something new, it has registered that plants are what these things are. That's really neat to me. I, I That's amazing to me. Oh my god, look at this guy! He has an amazing little face! I like his little horn nose. This thing looks like a dinosaur slightly. I love it. These could be legs. He's got a little body here. This could be a tail. These could be wings even. This could be like a little wing area. And then like a horn on front and kind of like that Triceratops shaped head. This guy could be an amazing Pokemon. I love him. Kind of looks like he's melting. <laughs> it doesn't, he looks like he's like dripping. And kind of fish shaped or almost like that kind of looks like a uh, Piplup, right? Like the Piplup face a little bit. But then over here you kind of get like a mud kippy thing going on. It is Pokemon shaped though. That's amazing. And it's, it's, it's a mess. This one's a mess. <laughs> I like it though. I don't know why, but this guy looks like he's dancing <laughs> to me. Like, it looks like he's got like a little dancing body. Like he's two little legs and then one leg in the center that he uses for balancing. He's kind of got one eye, but then maybe his face is like upside down slightly. I don't know what's happening with like the water droplets raising up over there. And then he's got a perfect turtwig little leaf thing. But then this patterning is really interesting looking too. And we get like a unknown style eye, which is really weird that it has that off of these input images. This guy's cool, I like him. This almost feels like what Sandshrew would look like if he was a grass Pokemon. Just a little bit, right? He's kind of got like that, that shrew face. I don't know if that's like his big black tongue or if he's got like a little bulby thing underneath his throat. And then just, the very kind of sandshrew body. I don't know where those legs or... 
it's, it's really starting to take liberties, which I think is amazing. It's creating things that look like Pokemon with pieces of what we would think of as Pokemon, but not these input images. That's really cool to me. The ones with the wacky borders are always like the most intriguing looking ones. This thing looks like it's flying, that's clearly an eye, and it looks like a dragon, like almost Dragonite shaped, like this almost looks like Dragonite's face. Or almost like a Flygon mixed with a Dragonite face. That's really cool. That thing's cool looking. I also, I also like how like modern the background looks. That's neat too. This guy is kind of creepy looking, a little bit. If you spend too long looking at its face, it's slightly creepy looking. But it definitely looks like that's a face, that's hair, it's got like a headdress on, maybe two hands out in front of it, and then like big shrew-like feet and a tail. That's really cool looking too. This one has so many possibilities what it could be. I got super excited when I saw this one. <laughs> he, he's got a definite little like tadpole body, and then almost like, like his body almost looks crab shaped, but like made out of leaves, or he could be like an airplane, like a like a leaf paper airplane, that would be really neat. He could have those two things being like his stabilizers. That'd be cool. I really like this guy. I've spent a while staring at this one, and I don't really have like any idea what its face or pieces could be, so it almost feels a little bit like a, a Crawdilly or Lilip, those like deep sea plant Pokemon. It could be something like that, like you, something that you can barely tell is a Pokemon, and then because all of it looks vaguely Pokemon-y, <laughs> but it doesn't necessarily have any recognizable pieces as like arms or anything. It's still really neat. Sometimes these are just like so adorable. Look at this guy's face! Is that like a beak or is his mouth open? Like, he's got adorable eyes. He almost has like a Psyduck look to him, doesn't he? He's like kind of like a little seed duckling. His body is adorable. I like that little two-tone going on, his tiny little feet. And then this twig plant thing on top of his head is perfect. This guy is a Pokemon already. This thing is a brand new Pokemon. I love this guy a lot. I get like a definite blowing in the wind vibe to this guy. I think that could be amazing as like a Pokemon, like a psychic grass Pokemon, that all of its psychic abilities are based off of like making noises in the wind. So like the wind blows and it confuses its enemies or if it's raining, maybe it just automatically has like a hypnosis effect. That could be really cool. It kind of looks like a dandelion seed that's like blowing in the wind. This guy has a lot of potential. I love him. <laughs> Initially, I was like, this little line is his mouth, not like the big line. And I was like, he's got like a creepy face. But when I look at him with the big line under there, he looks like a lizard. He's like really neat looking. I, I like his arms just stretched out like Trico's, but then they just like capped them. So they kind of look like stumps. He almost has like a front sight as a thumb there. <laughs> and... His legs are kind of weird, but if you kind of just take this part and make it like like a kilt or like a covering and have this thing be his leg twice, he's got a really neat look to him. He's very interesting looking. I love his eyes. <laughs> they look bloodshot almost. I, I like him. I like his little ears too. This thing has a vaguely reminiscent Pikachu thing going on, which is crazy. It has... The little circular mouse nose, almost the same placement of eyes and ears as Pikachu. The two legs and a tail. Doesn't have his arms, but this could be a really cool mouse grass type Pokemon. I could see this thing being a Pokemon. It's got like a little wing or something back here. Definitely a tail. Maybe these are all four of its legs or just its front legs. I guess this little thing could be like a mouth and then this thing would be absolutely adorable too. <laughs> whether, whether it's a bug or a mouse, he's absolutely adorable and I love him. I feel like what we're seeing here is this is like the chin or the bottom side of something's head like really stretched back. And then it's got two little arms sticking out and that thing could be like the big leaf off of its back. It definitely has feet and kind of a tail sticking in between its legs. That thing's cool looking. It leaves a lot to imagination, but sometimes those are like the best ones because you can make whatever you want out of it. This next guy leaves nothing to the imagination and is a horrifying mess. What is happening? His face, it's a weird mixture between cute and terrifying. And he's definitely plant. 
shaped kind of I don't know this guy is just a horror show he's got such a mess of things going on what I really like however is this like negative space white thing behind him that could be added to something and look amazing not this guy in particular but it does look really nice this guy's almost got like a tyranitar sort of color palette to him and almost a dinosaur like face unless it's maybe bug shaped its head is very cool but the legs don't necessarily match it and i really like the little tuft of like grass hair almost like a rapidash flame on its head and then it got a little horn there I like this guy. I love this one. I like its little hands like on its chest or maybe like pockets. It's like waving kind of. And then it's got this big tail swiping behind it. The two little adorable legs and that face. Look at this face. It's got a face and a mane of hair. It kind of like reminds me of almost a Korok from like Zelda, which would be a really cool thing to have in Pokemon. I love this guy. He, he would be cool. After a minute of looking at this one, I think it's got like an upturned nose here. This could be its mouth. This is kind of like its little droopy eye. This could be like an ear. And then it's got a big fruit for its head. This is its body with two arms. And these could be its legs. It's very nondescript, but I think with a little imagination you could turn this into an amazing Pokemon. This is just the plant pieces off of every single one of them. I, I like how it's just like a smattering of every single like leaf the way that the leaves look, kind of like some fingers. You definitely got like a snivy tail with the the lines off of like a Grookey or Chikorita leaf. This thing's a, a weird collection, but you could also probably make something amazing off of it. This guy looks like a pumpkin. He looks like a pumpkin with like vines. I love him. These are definitely two eyes. You can see his mouth here. He's got like a little cheek and then he's got like the ribs from a pumpkin. He could be a pumpkin vine. That would be a really cool Pokemon. You can see it evolving like Diglett does, like to Doug Trio, where it just has more littler versions of him. Like the first evolution of him grows off of like the left side and then the right and then the big pumpkin turns into like a pumpkin king. That would be amazing. I would love that guy. Yet again, we have generated an amazing spread of brand new Pokemon from the AI. From literal plants to almost Pokemon that already exist outside of our input images. This thing is amazing. It's definitely learning. And now this is when we like to choose one of our brand new Pokemon and bring it to life as a 3D model. We chose this little bird seedling. He's absolutely adorable. He's like a little duck seedling. He already looked like a Pokemon, and you could definitely see the amazing evolutions of him, so he was a pretty easy choice, kind of. We wanted to model a few of them, but he was, he was easy to pick out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to help us name this guy, leave a suggestion down in the comments. I'd love to see what you guys come up with. We could definitely at some point do a showcase of every single Pokemon we've created so far, and the names you guys have chosen for them. That sounds like a ton of fun. Please leave us a like, subscribe if you're not, and if you're interested, we have a Patreon. Thank you again. Stay safe. I love you all. Bye.